NASA may have recovered a meteorite from the Pacific Ocean. Chris Mann from Outer Places reports on Sign of the Times. Just two days into their search for the giant meteorite that crashed off the coast of Washington State, Dr. Mark Fries of the crew of the Nautilus exploration craft have accomplished their mission. They believe they've successfully recovered pieces of the two-ton meteorite that created a huge fireball the size of a minivan as it streaked into the Pacific Ocean. Further analysis is in the works, but if these fragments are genuine, they'll be the first ever pieces of meteorite recovered from the ocean. The basis of Freeze calculations of the meteorite's trajectory, the Nautilus narrowed it in a search of 0.4 square miles patch of the ocean. The area was first searched with sonar, then with two ROVs, that's remotely operated vehicles, named Argus and Hercules. The team then used a suction hose, sampler, magnetic plate, and sediment scoop to pick up the most promising pieces of this rock. The two fragments found so far are thought to be the outer shell of the meteorite, called the fusion crust, which the Nautilus live blog describes as meteorite exterior that melted and flowed like glades on pottery as it entered our Earth's atmosphere. Even though the meteorite survived entry through Earth's atmosphere, staying in the ocean for too long may have caused it to degrade much faster than if it had hit dry land. Even though the Nautilus mission only recovered two fragments, it may be enough. According to Fries, who was impressed with the fireball caused when the meteor passed over Washington State, he said, this fall features unusual fragmental behavior, suggesting it is a mechanically tough and possibly rare meteorite type. All we need is a single meteorite in hand to find out, end quote. 